For, for this time, we're going to be working in a, in a practice called TET meshing, uh, uh, geometry and verifying mesh quality. And the first thing we have to do is to, we, I already created a, a file and a, and a folder called Patron. And you can see already here, we have meshing techniques, solid works parasolid. And you can see here in this, in this file, we can find support. And that's the name we're going to of the file that we're going to work with. So the first thing we do is we create a new file in the in the in the, in the file of meshing techniques called TED Mesh. We're going to call it like that. And we create it. So now we can see the 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 display and the layout already. Now we have to import the, f the previous file that I showed you that is called support and it's a parasolid we did this in SolidWorks previously so we already have it here in the import summary and the first thing we have to do as you can see you can only watch lines in here so it's convenient for us if we use a smooth shaded icon so you can see it better now in this case, we have to create a mesh, a new mesh. We go to the meshing section. In action, we put create. Object is going to stay as mesh, and the type is also solid. The element shape is TET. The measure is TET mesh, and the topology is TET 10. Defaults. In this case, we're going to work with defaults. And as you can clearly see, it's already there, the solid number one. and we we will try something different here. the the global edge length uh, I'm sorry the global edge length will be 20, and we apply it. You can now see that a mesh is, has been created. But here's something very interesting. If we verify the quality of the mesh as as a free face type, you can see that the figure is very weird looking, and that is because the global edge length of 20 it's too big for a for a piece that is very small so what i found out is very convenient is that we get the the same solid but we change the the global edge length for this mesh and i used five five is very it's a very good number so we delete the previous mesh that we did so you can now verify it and it totally changed because if we plot this you can now see that the figure is neater, it's cleaner, it looks better. So, of course, this has this has a lot of changes in the in the way we're analyzing the the piece, but it still works great. So, now we want to to in the same action of verifying the uh, object TET, and we're going to test the quality. So right now it's running and you can see now here down in the test verification uh, test verification summary some of the stats that are according to this specific mesh so if we open paint I'm just going to open paint because I like to paste my pictures there I'm going to leave this here just for 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 you to see it and, and you can pause the video and check and compare with the next mesh we're going to create. So if you check the aspect for this particular mesh, you can, clear, you can clearly see if we put the reliability threshold in, in the aspect ratio of nearly five. Now, I cannot put in, in close five, uh, but the closest is 6.34, that's okay. And if we apply it, we can see the, the colors of, and of the of this particular uh, mesh and the and the piece. So if we zoom in a little bit, you can see some of the colors that are there that are representing some of the aspect ratio settings you already defined previously. And of course, the, 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 the type of mesh you did. But I'm going to leave this and I'm going to put a print screen so we can further look uh, to the back to the piece because we are changing actually the, the type that of the mesh. We create a new mesh. 
So first, before creating it, I'm going to, to paste this print screen that I took of the of the piece. I think it's more important to, for us to compare the, the color of the pieces instead of just the numbers, because the numbers are really diff uh, difficult to, to compare. So we have here the picture already. Now we're going to change it. And by this is by creating a new mesh and deleting the previous one. We will leave everything the same. The text mesh parameters are the ones that change. The you can change the refinement options. You put 0 0.005. And in this case, we also change the minimum edge length by putting 0 0.01. I mean 0 0.1. And we run these this type of mesh. We leave the global global edge length the same, and we apply it. So yes, we delete the previous mesh. And now the interesting part is that if you create, I mean, if you verify now the quality of the mesh that we previously made, the new one, first we click all, and remember the numbers we'll, we were looking uh, before. We can we can see these new numbers, and they are different. They have changed. If you pause the video, you can check that they are totally the, the different numbers. In the worst case uh, column, you can clearly see that. But now the, inter the interesting part is that if we take that mesh and we verify it but changing the aspect, we leave the aspect ratio the same. We don't change anything but the mesh. You can see all the, the different colors we're getting. Remember in the, in, the, in the previous piece, I'm going to show it in the previous mesh, I took a print screen and you can check all the different colors we have. You see in, the, in, this, uh, in this bar from the middle, you have a lot of red, a lot of orange, and in this particular one, we have a lot of red, a lot of greenish, yellowish color, and also orange. But you can clearly see that in the edge, in the left edge of the piece, you can see almost nothing of red. You see a lot of yellow, a lot of green, and here you can only see red. That is because we change. We change the, the mesh, and we change also the, the default values that we have. So, so basically, that's that is the the most important thing we were, we were wanted to check right now this is totally for geometric purposes so we can already close oh first of all we're going to save it we can close right now our our, our work and now we can safely quit pattern with no issues so that's the, that's the main thing we wanted to, to check right now how how different are the different type of meshes you use in your 